Hello everyone, welcome to the newest edition of Team Johnson Outdoors. It's finally here. The 2024 Wisconsin Youth Turkey Hunt starts tomorrow. We've had a few days of getting things ready to go as you'll see here in a second. But we're heading out to turkey camp tonight to get things started, so stay tuned. All right, let's head into skis and see what we can find. Four of the mango habanero, two of the jalapeno cheddar, four of the double beer brats. All right, time for some Fleet Farm. All right, I'll take one of those and a couple of those. I'd grab some of these, but I have a severe decoy addiction and I don't think I should do it. Uh, maybe just one, no, no, no. All right, and I need a box of those. And even though it's not turkey related, we're gonna grab one of those and one of those. These work really well out on Lake Petenwell. Pup is on his way from Minnesota. Let's see what he's up to. Getting ready for the Wisconsin Youth Hunt. I think I'm hunting with Parker. Uh, Scott's gonna have his daughter Layton with him, I think. And uh, can't wait. The turkey season is finally starting this weekend. A couple more things to pack, and then uh, a five and a half hour trip to where we're camping to go turkey hunting. Almost forgot. All right, camp's all set up. Just enjoying some company. Hi, Jeff. Dan, how's it going? Good morning. Good morning. Ooh. It's morning somewhere. It's gonna be morning somewhere, and it's gonna be morning before we know it, right, pup? You bet. Before you know it. Hey, you got one. Nice job, Parker. Parker's getting a little BB gun action in here. All right, so the last time that the boys and I have been on camera doing any kind of hunting was over on Green Bay uh, last November. Um, winter was pretty tough this year. There wasn't a whole lot of ice fishing going on. We were just too busy. So this is the first time we've actually gotten out to do any kind of hunting or outdoor activity for a lengthy period of time. Um, but man, we couldn't ask for a better spot to get some camping in and do some hunting, spend some time together. All right, for dinner tonight, we have some mango habanero bratwurst, some double beer, and some jalapeno cheddar brats from Ski's Meat Market. If you're in Stevens Point, check it out. It's a great place to get some good brats. Yeah, we do. Ooh, do it again, pup. Ooh, looking pretty good. Dan, how are the double beer yeah, skis brats? Good? Pup? Mango habanero? Yeah, nice. Good deal? A little heat. The first bite of mine made my nose run a little bit. Oh, they're spicy. That's good, though. That's what you want. On the first day we were there, it's like, yeah, we're not going on that lake. And then it got dead calm for three days. And we'd go into that lake, and everything was packed into the end of that lake. Like, we were catching lake trout or walleye almost every time. Nothing was smaller than 20 inches. Yeah. All right, Friday night's in the books. We're sitting around the fire, having a couple of beverages. And tomorrow we're going to get up early and hit the woods. So stay tuned. All right. We know you can't see us, but we're both here. Say hi, Layton. Hi. Oh, maybe there she is. No, that's not her. We're all set up. It's about 5.35. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, Leighton and I have not seen anything. We heard one hen behind us, but she never came out of the woods. And Pup and Parker have seen a handful of hens.
Mountains. Dan and Colby have seen a few birds, but all hens. Uh, we haven't heard any gobbling at all, but there's some birds around, so we're gonna stick it out here this morning for a couple more hours and see if anything comes out and then make a new game plan. Ooh, she is not happy. some calling and I had a hen call back so I called back and forth with her for a while got her all worked up and she came in behind us and then came alongside us and out in front but she didn't have any jakes or tops with her but sometimes half the battle is just getting the hens to come and if they have anything else with them they'll follow but no go on that one so we're gonna stick it out here for about another 10-15 minutes and then I think we're gonna relocate for this evening all right, that does it for the morning hunt. Leighton and I decided to move our blind, so we set up on the other end of the field down here. We saw some turkeys in here the other day, so we're gonna be set up right there. And uh, we'll see how things go this afternoon. All right, we came back, had some lunch, took a little nap. As we were sitting back at camp, we were looking down the road that way and we saw two turkeys come out, stand on the road. Then they turned around and went back in the woods. Then about half an hour later, I think the same two came out again and then they jumped over the little river there and then went off into the woods this way somewhere. Time for a snack. Got some skis hot sticks. All right, pup. How are the skis hot sticks? Delicious. Pretty Three good. Out of ten. Thanks for coming this weekend. No problem. It's always nice having Uncle Pup here helping us out, right, Layton? Yeah. So, it just uh, takes a little bit of the burden off of me trying to get it all done. All right, we are back out for the evening hunt. It's a little bit before three o'clock. Uh, we're in a different spot here. Right now you're seeing a map of the area that we hunt with a bunch of numbers on it. And uh, basically we were over by number nine this morning and now we're moved down by number one. Uh, Dan and Colby are at spot three and Pup and Parker are over around spot six. So we're kind of spread out all over the place. Uh, we've been seeing some turkeys on this end of the field in the evenings. So we decided to give this spot a shot. All right, that's a good looking hen. Uh, it's about the only bird we've seen this evening. So we're going to pack it up and head in a little early and kind of get reset for tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday morning, the second day of the youth hunt. Uh, this morning we have some gobbling kind of going off all around us. So it sounds pretty promising.
I'm just fine. Okay. Bye, I'm sorry, sorry, buddy. Oh. I feel bad. That's all right. Hey, that's all right. We're gonna eat them, right? Yeah. All right. Hey, that was a great shot. But he's still moving. Good patience. So that's just nerves. That's just nerves. Now we're gonna sit here and wait because Uncle Pup's got some turkeys gobbling. All right. She got it done. She doesn't really like being on camera, so. But I'm like, see if I can get her on for a second. No, Layton. no, no, no. <laughs> What'd you think, Layton? Um, it was good. <laughs> it was good. All right, nice clean shot. One proud dad here. Proud either way, but we went turkey hunting a few years ago, and we had a chance at some jakes, and she didn't want to shoot, and so we didn't. And now today we're here. We're back. We're doing it. Hopefully this is something we can continue to do because I had a good time this weekend. Let's see how she decides to pick it up. Grab it by the feet. <laughs> Alright, we are late and shoot. I'm not sure if she got one yet, but I think we've got a confirmation that Leighton shot a turkey. So congrats. If you don't hear from us again, this will probably conclude my part of the youth Wisconsin hunt, helping out with Parker. But so from me, farewell. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. All right, overall, we had a great weekend. It's always fun to get the kids out, spend some time in the woods, get them a bird or two. So. Uh, we've got some seasons coming up here yet for turkey hunting, so stay tuned for those. As always, thanks for watching. Stay healthy and Layton. I forgot what to say, but peace out. We'll see you next time. All right, hold your horses. We're not quite done yet. Stay tuned. Parker and I are up at the Mead Wildlife Area checking out a brand new spot. Uh, we just got set up and we heard a gobble behind us after doing a little calling, so stay tuned. We're in our old school Ameristep blind. I have not hunted out of this thing in a while, but Parker wanted to take it with, so here we are, right? behind us. Uh, did I mention it's hot out today? It feels like it's 100 and I know it's only about 75 degrees but we're getting baked in here. Aren't we buddy? Yeah so we're gonna make sure we drink plenty of fluids <laughs> and uh, try to stay hydrated here. First time we've heard two distinct gobbles, so there's definitely two toms back there. Um, God, it keeps sounding like one gets closer, but then it gobbles and it feels like it's getting further away, and then it sounds like it gets close again, so they're just uh, it seems to be hung up back there. We're gonna wait them out though, we're gonna make curiosity get the better of them.
Tell me if I need him again. No, he's fine. He's fine. Oh, no. Oh, I couldn't get the shot through the window. Can I hit him again? No, he's good. All right. All right, Parker. Let's take a look at the spurs. Ooh, look at those hooks, huh? Wow. It's a really nice. Look at that beard, too. Good looking beard. All right. What do you think? Fun. Yeah. Does it pay to be patient? Yeah. Parker and I were having lots of discussions about being patient. We heard gobbling behind us, and I told him, I said, we just got to be patient and uh, pay it off. All right. So the blind's right there, and that Tom came out right underneath the sun there and then started heading towards our decoys. We had a feeder hen out, and then we had a three-quarter strut Jake with a laydown hen. It's pretty much the same spread I had this morning with Layton, but uh, pretty effective setup for early season. All right, Parker, not too bad for just uh, come out and check out a spot, huh? Yeah. All right, gotta thank Uncle Pup for this. Uncle Pup found this field on the map, and we thought we'd go check it out, and it paid off, didn't it, bud? Yeah. All right, so pretty pretty good day today. Layton got her Jake this morning. Parker shot a Tom this evening. So nice start to the season. All right, well, that's going to do it for this edition of Team Johnson Outdoors. As always, thanks for watching. Stay healthy. And, and Parker, see you next time. See you next time. That's the rules. I can't wait to have this celebratory chocolate milk. <laughs> Did you cut the heart out and take a bite out of the heart yeah, yet? Yeah, she ate the heart already. Okay. Nice. Welcome back. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Noosa Johnson in front, but she didn't have any. <clears throat> but she didn't have any. <laughs> she must have been an ugly hen. No, Maybe she likes no being alone. Yeah. Maybe she likes what? Likes being alone. Maybe she likes being alone. Yeah, I suppose. All right, so I was. Layton, you ready to go? Yeah. Layton doesn't like being on camera, yeah, I so don't. that's about all you get. She obviously doesn't watch my videos. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the newest edition of PJ Mystery. Cut, Actually, just cut, kidding. Cut, Welcome cut, to the cut, newest... cut, cut. Oh, is that a focus? All right. So, as always, thanks for watching. Parker, as always, stay healthy. Thanks for watching. And Parker, see you next time. We'll see you next time. So, Pup and Parker didn't have any luck today, but they had a good time. And uh, hopefully, we'll do this again next year, huh? You bet. Okay. So, as always, Thanks for watching. Stay healthy and pop. See you next time. Layton. See you next time. See you next time.